introduce yourself sure. where you're from, how long you serve. My name is uh, Christina Rogers, Specialist Christina Rogers. Served here for two years. I'm loving it. And I'm from Grosio, Michigan. Okay. Oh. And I've been seeing you at the front door when we come in. Yes, yes. So you check people, make sure they have the proper ID. Yes. Okay. Proper uniform, everything like that. Okay. Yep. So is that the main job? But you're back here now in the kitchen. You're doing a lot of different things. I do everything. Right. Both. Okay. I help out everybody, basically. Okay. So, yeah. That's great. Yes. What about care packages? Are you getting them here from people uh, back home? Or? I got a few of them when we first got here. Not, not really recently anymore since we're about to leave. But yeah, I have gotten a few of them. So you're leaving, you have another brigade that's replacing you, right? Yes. People need to know that. Right. Continue sending care packages. Exactly. Y'all okay. need to get care packages out here. Yep, definitely. Okay. Why don't you give a shout out to family and friends back home? What's going on, Mom, Dad, Zachary? How y'all doing? Miss you. Be home soon. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for your service to our country. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Gosh, I didn't do Go ahead and introduce yourself. All right. Your serve, okay, I'm Nancy Olivares Teresa. I'm from Oxford, California, and I've been serving for two years. And your family is originally from? Uh, my mom's from Mexico and my dad's from Mexico. Okay. okay, what do you do here on a daily basis? I cook. I'm the cook. I work in the kitchen. Most of the time, I prepare the meals to go out. During, I'm on late shift, so I prepare dinner mostly and serve lunch. So we're talking three meals a day. No, I serve, there's two shifts on, on this. And so the first shift prepares breakfast and lunch, and the second shift prepares dinner and serve lunch. Well, food is great. Well, thank you very much. I've been through many, so many defects. Um, how did, did you learn how to cook before you came in the military or while you've been here? No, the, the Army's been my first job ever, so really? uh, I've never cooked in my life. My parents cooked for me, so I, out of high school, I joined the Army and became a cook, so this is where I learned how to cook. Well, your mom and dad and family will be hearing this. They're going to be expecting <laughs> you to cook when you go home, right? Yes, yes. So, because when I went out leave, I cooked a couple of meals and they liked it, so I was pretty, pretty yeah. excited. Pretty okay. excited. What about care packages? Are you getting them from people back home? Or my parents, my dad sends me care packages. Uh, every month he sends me a big one, like uh, soap and the necessary things for but not now because we're about to leave. So he does send me a couple of things. So. Okay. Why don't you give a shout out? <laughs> family and friends back Alrighty. home. Alrighty. Hi, Dad. Hi, sisters, my brothers. I love you. See you soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service Thank to our country. No problem. Okay, now we're going to go out in the main sections, right? Yep. And we're going to narrate. I'll just give you the mic. All right. Uh, I'll okay, hand the board here. We uh, head out through the uh, vestibule out to the uh, actual serving area. Now, uh, this dive facility is actually four buildings put together to accommodate the amount of people that we feed in here. Um, what we call uh, bee huts. They put, yep, they all come down from the, uh, the, main, the main entrance. They come up, we have short order items on uh, one side. We have a uh, sandwich bar on the other, and this is all for uh, the lunch meal. Um, now for dinner, we have specialty meals, depending on what day of the week it is depends on which special meals, but uh, it'll be mirrored on both sides for the special meals on dinner. Uh, for breakfast, uh, Monday and Wednesdays, we have breakfast pizza set up on this side, and then where we have the short order items for lunch is where all the breakfast items are. And then we just do eggs to order and omelets right off the uh, big grill at the end there when you first come in. People come in there, they have to show their ID. You yep. track how many people are actually here so you know how much food to make, right? Yep, actually, yep. They, uh, they come up, they uh, show their ID cards to the uh, the guards that are outside the door. They come up, they scan. Uh, it goes into the computer. It'll tell if it's a DOD civilian, whether it's a U.S. military, uh, coalition military, everything. And then that's how we keep track of the amount of meals that we, we have going out. And it helps us kind of balance our budget. Knows, tells us how much uh, food we have to prepare. You know, try and keep the waste down to a minimum. You know, so it, it's pretty, pretty getting to be pretty high tech. When I first came in, it was all just 
handwritten sheets. Right, and there's such a variety too. Like I don't eat much meat, but I've had no problem eating it. I have to watch how much I eat. The omelets in the morning are absolutely ready to be egg white. Yep. People, you know, low cholesterol. Yep. We uh we offer. Yeah, we offer uh, whole yolk, uh, mixed yolk with the egg whites, whole egg white, um, quite quite the variety back here. Everybody, you know, you're in a deployed environment, but this is this is pretty much the same setup that we have back in Garrison. It's a uh, pretty again what we have. We we make the best out of it. Right. Now the defect sizes are different all over. Yep. Some places don't have defect. That's why. Care package is so important. Yep. You get pushed out into the outpost areas. Yep. You, when you're in a place like this, you get to yeah. Yep. Yeah. On some of the smaller fobs, they just have little uh, little tents set up, and then uh, food is mermaid out to them. No, there's no uh, what do no we variety. Have here? We have a whole variety of drinks. Um, yep. This is our uh, this is one of our uh, two cooler areas. We have uh, cold water, soda, energy drinks, uh, juice. And then in the uh, first dining room, we have another one that has all of our uh, fruit juices, all of our milks in. Uh, we, uh, for lunch and dinner, we offer sweet tea that we home brew right back, right in the back in the, with the kitchen. Um, fresh coffee every meal, ice machines, water machines. What's that machines. back here? Is this a duplicate um, what's up there? This a is, a, well, this is uh, for the lunch meal, this is uh, all the mainline items. If you don't want to have short order items, you know, what you know, your fast food items, then you come over here and we offer a little bit more of the, you know, home cooked meal stuff. You know, we have beef stroganoff, we have baked chicken, we have uh, baked fish, rice, mashed potatoes, corn, broccoli au gratin. And then you come down here and it's all the salad bar. You just want a lettuce, you know, a lettuce salad, crab salad, you know, Waldorf fruit salad, Jello, everything. Soup, over soup here. yep, soup and gravy for lunch and dinner. Uh, for breakfast, we got uh, hot melted butter, hot syrup, um, you know, all the condiments, all the uh, the uh, salad toppings, uh, toaster. That try and have everything, and then uh, want to go out to the next the okay. next dining room. We, uh, okay. Where everybody sitting down. Yeah, we uh, go to the first of two dining rooms. In the second in the first dining room, we have. Uh, the drink cooler with all of our dairy products in. We have uh, juice, water, and then this is uh, what we consider the outside line for the meal. Uh, muffins, all of our desserts, uh, cookies, and then all the fresh whole fruits. And then over here we have a chef salad bar, where if you uh, just you know trying to watch away, everybody's worried about calorie intake. Uh, but like I said, if they don't eat meat or uh, Want something specific, and then come out here and get a, a fresh top salad, um, bread bar out there. And then uh, we have one stand up freezer, it has the uh, ice cream bars, more fruit cheeks, and then in the last dining room, we have the actual ice cream bar. Yep, TV's on both ends. Uh, one end is constantly running movies, the other end is either on the news or on sports. Uh, in the second, uh, dining room, same thing. We have two more TVs. Uh, one's on the movie channel. One's on you know, another, either military channel, news, sports. You know, it's, uh, we offer quite a bit. As it says up here, you have sweets and treats down here. You got fruits, yep. chips, pastries. Yep. You got uh, try to put out uh, four different types of cakes, four different types of pies, three different types of cookies, uh, five different types of whole fruits, plus the uh, Otis Funkmeyer muffins, uh, you know, chocolate chip cookies, a little bag, um, bags of chips. It's amazing to me is kind of over here because I eat what's here. I've heard it before anymore. Yep. But it turned it off. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Eat a lot more, but eat hours. I mean, you're all talking about as many hours as everybody else. Oh, if not more. I'm up every, right now, uh, working morning shift, I'm up every morning at 3.30 in the morning. I usually don't go to bed till close to 8 or 9 o'clock at night. So it gets, it gets to be a long day, but I love it. <laughs> How many do you get days off every once in a while? Um, our company standard is uh, one day off every two weeks, uh, but 
now that uh, you know the guys have really gotten it down to a T, it's down to a science, everything runs smooth. If we can try and take one day off a week, we try to, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Okay, so we have another room back yep. here. Move on one to of my the, favorite places is back here. Yeah, we'll move on to the second dining room and uh, to the ever-loving ice cream bar. We have, uh, Um, we have all Baskin and Robbins ice cream. It's Baskin Robbins. Yep, Baskin Robbins. It's a good plug for Baskin Robbins. Yes, we don't uh, we don't offer 32 flavors, but uh, you know we we make do with what we have. We Just have uh, six. six six different flavors in there at uh, at a time. Specialist Row is uh, back here serving the ice cream. Always has a smile on his face. Always. Shout out to your family and friends. Uh, to my wife Amanda. Miss the hell out of you. I'd like to send a shout out to my wife Amanda. I miss you very, very much. I'll be home soon and you're gonna get it when I come home. Los I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes. Thank you. Oh, that's what I'm here for. This is, I try not to hit this too much, the ice cream, but it's good ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, like I said, we have uh, this is more of the uh, sports head, uh, oriented dining room. Uh, we got all the fat head pictures up. You know, people have donated some of their uh, the flags from Georgia Tech, Louisville, you know, so on and so forth. Um, flat screen TV on each side. You know, try to let the when they come in here to enjoy their meal. You know, it, it's actually a relaxing atmosphere. They can actually sit down and relax and not think about where we're at or what may be going on outside the park. Or, you know, maybe something at home. So, you know, try and make it as very family oriented and relaxing and peaceful as possible. Oh, yes. Yes. It's got a lot of people come in and use it for uh, for different classes and stuff because just the size and aspect. Um, so, it'll be it, very versatile. Very, very versatile building. <laughs> I appreciate you giving America or wherever people can watch on YouTube, Facebook, a behind the scenes look at a defect, especially the soldier. Oh yes, my, my my pleasure. Like I said, we're the uh, we're the only uh, soldier run defect here at Bob, so so you know it kind of kind of gets you a little more a little more sense of pride in what you do. So. Why don't you give a shout out again, family friends? All right, this is uh, Sergeant Scott Dean Richards. Uh, I want to say hi to. Becky, Matthew, Tyler, Cody, and Cheyenne at Black River, North, uh, New York, and to Daryl and Sharon Richards in Sisson, South Dakota. Love you. See you in about a month. Okay. How long have you served again? 17 years. 17 years. Yep. Wow. Three years from retirement. Three years, Three years from December. So. so what do you think you're going to do when you get out? Are you thinking about that yet? Or? Um, you know, I, I'm, when I get out, I'm going to have uh, three of my four kids still in school, so uh, it, it's... It, it, it's up in the area. I don't know if I want to, if we're going to move back home and I'm going to get a job or if I'm just going to relax. And it, it, it's, right. yeah, it's, it's three years down the road. Whatever, whatever mama wants to do, whatever keeps mama happy is what I'm going to do. Because okay. she's had to, she's going to have to, you know, suffer through this for 20 years. So when I get out, it's going to be her time. Folks, you've been hearing it on Talking With Heroes. Uh, maybe for the first time, people that don't come out here, families back home, people all across America, you're seeing inside one of the dining facilities, this one run by the soldiers, with the 10th Mountain Combat Aviation Brigade. So I want to thank again Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University for making this trip possible. Embry-Riddle.edu, Mark Leiden with the book, Veterans Do This Get Hired, DoThisGetHired.com. So we'll be back with more here in Afghanistan on TalkingWithHeroes.com.